Inauguration Day 2021. It was an historic day in more ways than one, and new residents are now calling the People's House their home. This morning, President Joe Biden was sworn in as the 46th President of the United States. Fox 2 Zara Barker is live from our Powers Insurance Bureau with a wrap up of Inauguration Day. Zara? Yeah, some inauguration festivities are still underway right now, and they're all focusing on that same message that we've seen President Biden repeat today, unity. I, Wednesday Robert started and Biden ended Jr. with a new resident of the White House. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. Before the inauguration ceremony, former President Donald Trump gave remarks before boarding Air Force One to Florida. I wish the new administration great luck and great success. I think they'll have great success. They have the foundation to do something really spectacular. A goodbye. We love you. We will be back in some form. A goodbye from the 45th president leads to a hello from the 46th. This is America's day. This is democracy's day. A day of history and hope of renewal and resolve. The new president called for national unity in his inaugural speech. To overcome these challenges, to restore the soul and secure the future of America, requires so much more than words. It requires the most elusive of all things in a democracy, unity. And Vice President Kamala Harris was sworn in as the first woman to hold the office. So help me God. Right. While no spectators were in attendance because of security protocols, a University City native who goes to college in D.C. and runs a daily political newsletter did not get one of the limited press credentials, but he tried to get as close to the inauguration as possible. You know, I saw many more you know, military members than, than I did kind of, you know, just kind of people wanting to see the inauguration, which is obviously, you know, very far from the norm. At a young age, he attended President Obama's inauguration ceremony and says these two were night and day. You know, this sense of, you know, celebration that was just not in downtown D.C. today. After the ceremony and a few ritual events, a motorcade took the new administration to the White House, where President Biden signed 17 executive actions, including a mask mandate on federal property. There's no time to start like today. So uh, what I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm proud of today's executive actions. So. I'm going to start by keeping the promises I made to the American people. More than half of the actions reversed Trump's policies, including stopping the U.S. from withdrawing from the World Health Organization, rejoining the Paris climate, and requiring non-citizens to be included in the census. And tonight during a press briefing, we learned that President Joe Biden's first phone call with a foreign leader will be with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Right now, that phone call is set for Friday. Live from the Powers Insurance Bureau, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News.